All right. Where am I? Where's Josha? Um. Oh, we, did we see Josha? Is that Josha? I, I don't remember what Josha looks like. I'm sorry. Are we gonna warp back? I could warp back. There are also some. There are also some Satanists down here that I could fight. I think I'm gonna do that. Who knows what loot they have, right? Right. I can always warp out. I'll just peace early. Oh, hi. This is awkward. Are you? Oh, it's the mining sound. Okay, watch this, watch this, watch this. Shock fruit. And no, I can I can just straight up kill him. What? 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 That's not what I want to see. You... How did... It got stuck on... Get off! That was some really... Weird physics there. I kind of got stuck on a lip. I shot an invisible wall. That's not how this game is supposed to work. I'm at two hearts. I don't want to die to this. Please... Die. All right, back in control. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I am about to get shot and there's nothing I can say. Why are you shooting me with spicy food that's weird? Why did I get a flurry rush off that? Kill him! Okay, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. He's dead, can't hurt you anymore. Still better than last, or it might not have been last episode at this point. I don't, I'm, I've been recording for an hour and 10 minutes at this point. But still better than, you know, that last big combat encounter. And what we have to show for it is a lot of Zonite. A lot of Zonite. And now that that kind of proves it, if I'm just... Okay. And to keep my wits about me, so, some stuff stuff can sneak up here. It is in the dark. They're cave dwellers. So if I'm in just the, like, the ambient light of the, um, the thing, then I will still take damage, and it'll be perma-damage, which is a neat mechanic. Uh, nah, I'm... I'm- okay, 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 okay. I keep, like, I have this. I should use it. Because right now I just keep passing it over and over and over again. And by attack power, we're gonna... Um, sure. Fuse B. Yeah. It's not- not a bad weapon. All right, um, is that it? I think that's it. So let's let's finish out this quest, and I guess this recording session for me. I'm so glad I didn't. I messed up my buttons, but in that way, I did not. That would've been the worst death in history. I mm, okay. <coughs> We're gonna let's grab these fireflies, fireflies, and then warp over to Josha, and finish out this quest. Much better. Josha! Where are you? Oh, he's up there. Why is he up there? Why is he up there? Are those wild stall horses? Hold up. I think they are. Oh, they're kind of wild. They're not attached to any enemies, but I don't need to tame them. What a weird area. What a weird land. 
They can ride over the gloom, too, which makes them exceedingly useful. But because you need to climb, you can't always take them with you, and you can't take out your normal horse. It's just kind of a crazy area. There's just a lot going on. A lot of... It's alien. That tree, for some, for some reason, I felt threatened by it. Whoa! Whoa! Lots of pose. Hold on. Why do I feel... Why do I feel like pose... You're not gonna hit me, are you? Okay. Why do I feel like pose souls could somehow become hostile? I mean, okay, I know why, because they're, you know, sticking pose souls, but... Why does that one look like that? There's so much going on here. I want to know all the answers, and the problem is I'm asking too many questions. There's a root over there. And they're handing these pulse out, souls out like candy, but then there's that. What is that? Okay, all right. We're going to go see Josha. That's, that's going to happen. Don't worry. But I got to see what that is. Come on. My adventurous spirit, in fact, so I don't lose it. Mark. Uh, I don't see any archers. I think I headshot that one. And use my a better bow. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get the high ground. It's not that bad. And I think I actually just glide over him. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I can kite this. This isn't that bad. I just shock you. Whoa! That reaction time, pal! Good job, pal. Sheesh, I'm impressed with myself. Yeah, no, you're... If you didn't think the other two are gonna do it, why did you think that you would? Also, is that guy just... Whoop. That hurt. That hurt. Wait a minute, no it didn't. Wait a minute, that didn't hurt. That didn't deal damage. That gave me perma damage. That's weird. That that makes me sitting. I mean, I I know I've been sitting at two hearts, and that's you know, kind of dumb. But I haven't even been doing it for content. I've just been doing it because I don't want it. I don't want to. I don't think I need to heal, right? If if I see a threat that I think is gonna be you know, an Avengers level threat, then sure, I'll, I'll, I'll pop a, I'll pop a few pills before I face it, but I, I don't always need to go running home to my, my menu whenever that happens. By type, by most used, bright bloom, please, where, oh, my word. <sighs> okay, can I share a pet peeve, please? Uh, this is, this is, I think, the first thing I think I can legitimately claim, uh, complain about. I don't like this menu. I don't like it. It doesn't... I, I just don't like the menu. This is why. So, I need to go to a thing. I need to select an item. Let's just say I had a combat encounter. So, um, this utility item is not going to be right immediately apparent. So, I mean, sure, I, there are a bunch of different sorting methods and you can cycle through them but here's my problem you see what i'm talking about here and then here's my other problem let's just say i'm stuck at one side and i want to go to the other side it doesn't wrap and a lot of people whenever i've brought up this this complaint because i i've been sometimes i float ideas to people before i, I talk about them in the episode because maybe i'm wrong right and 
they're like, oh, but if it wrapped, then you wouldn't know when you reached the end. Well, first off, there's a scroll bar. Second off, it, uh, games that wrap properly, which I actually think this game might do it. Oh, no, it doesn't do it. Uh, I might do it here. No. This game just doesn't believe in wrapping. Like, at all. Why? Why? Games that do it properly, you hold a, a, the stick to one direction, and if you hit the end, it won't go any further. It won't wrap it. I just dropped my headset. But if you press it again, then it would wrap to this right side. You just have to do an extra input. And I don't like how this game doesn't believe that in that at all. I There's honestly no excuse for it, because it's always going to be better than not wrapping. It's just an extra option for a player to have. What? What am I seeing right now? What am I seeing right now? Bright Bloom, where is it? Where is it? Give it, uh, most used, it'll be right here. What? The... This a grave? This is a grave! What? Traveler Spear Star. A spear, okay. What? What? Huh? At least they're not hostile. Huh? Because when I first saw that, I thought that Dark Link was just watching me and I... I've only gotten chills one other time playing uh, this in Breath of the Wild, and that was actually- Oops, I didn't want- I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, I don't want to. Don't anger them. Don't anger them. Grab this. Is that it? Okay. This area is cool. I'm- I'm a fan of this area. Okay. We are going to complete this this quest, but first... Why is there a pit? But first, I would like to grab whatever is up here. I've gotten interrupted enough. I'm going to have to climb this the normal way. Do not have Rivali's Gale. Obviously, exploration is going to, you know, it's... It, Exploration will happen. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna go down here at some point and, you know, clear it out. In fact, I'm kind of, I'm really liking this area to the point where I, I kind of just want to be down here. I, I'm liking the vibes this place is putting off. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to call myself a connoisseur of horror games because, uh, honestly, I, I'm not. I, I... I've actually never played a ho no, that's not true. I played Five Minutes Freddy's, but that, you know, that that counts, I guess. But I'm not a huge horror guy. I don't like horror. I don't like horror movies, but I like creepy things in games. I love Majora's Mask. It, it's one of my favorite games. I like Toilet Princess. It's the darkest, one of the darkest Zelda games. Why is this one glowing? Large po. Oh, okay. That's as simple as that, eh? 
I like creepy things in games. I don't like jump scares, because I, I will get scared by them, but it's a very cheap scare. It's it's like a low it's like a, um a great value a great value scare. Sure, atmosphere can make a jump scare all that more, much more intense. Man, this is creepy. But it's just I don't know. It, do you like did you like it as a kid when this is a story I've never I don't think I've ever really told anyone. Uh, when your, your sibling would... Extra durable. I might want to keep, hold on to these. They're also seven power. Man, that's weird. Um, when your, my sibling would, Nova, would wait until I was putting on a shirt, because we shared a room, I was, we were five years old, and as I was doing it, she would get up right up close to me, so that as soon as my shirt came over my head, her face would be right up in mine. I never liked it. It might be why I don't like jump scares. It might have been a core memory, but it's... Eh. I, I just think it's a cheap way to, to scare someone. It's just surprising them. It's just making their flight, fight or flights kick in real quick for, you know, a laugh. But it's where your spine goes goes cold. Your bl your blood runs cold, sorry. You you have chills going up and down your spine. You start sweating in your palms and in your lower back. And your eyes are wide. That's horror. That's atmosphere. And you don't even need to pay it off with with a jump scare because once you do, here's the problem with jump scares. The moment's over. <laughs> And they just don't want to look at the screen anymore. But if you never pay it off, they're going to be thinking about that for the rest of their life. When I was a kid, I had... I guess I'm just telling all the stories. I'm not even sure. I don't think I've told this in the channel either. Can I grab this? Eh, I don't... Yeah. When I was a kid, I had um, night terrors. And this is going to go to a place that... Honestly, if you are a kid, um, I would probably not, I would probably be done with the episode or skip ahead. Um, I, I, uh, this is one, this is the least family friendly thing I'm probably ever going to say on the channel. Um, when I was a kid, I dealt with night terrors, but they weren't just night ter terrors, they were sleepwalking episodes, um, during which I was semi-conscious. I, you could talk to me, and I might talk back to you. Some things I remembered, some things I didn't. I was not myself. It was as though another person had taken the reins. And I would... My sister is scarred by this, because at one point she woke up, and I was standing right over the bed. This was long after we no longer had the same room. So this was... I was in my teens. And I asked calmly, eyes open where my parents were, to which she responded in their room. I thanked her calmly and left. I went to my parents' room and I asked them to help me, to save me, even. And this was an experience, unfortunately, that they were very used to, for they had to take me out of these dreams fairly often. They knew some of the tricks. Um, a damp washcloth on my my head. Um, telling me to yawn for some reason. Once I yawned, it would take me out of it. But it didn't make it easy. And I would plead with them to end... Hey, guys. To end the horror, the fear, the visions I saw. And when they didn't, I would attempt to return to my room and do it myself, the only way I knew how, even as a very, very young child. <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention. I would look for something to end the horror. There we go. 
Yeah. Or I would plead with them to end me, kill me themselves. Of course, you know, they would never do that, but yeah. it wasn't me who was asking. Yeah. I remember still, I still remember some of the things that I, I learned or I, I saw in those dreams. Things that I'm not going, going to really talk about because they're so abstract that they are really not ha. able to be understood. I just knew to fear them greatly. And that never got a resolution. We did find out what caused it. Um, they were... It was whenever I was warm in bed, um, they, whether through a fever um, or simply too many blankets, that could cause it. My last yeah. episode... I'll get to that in a second. Um, over time, they, they faded. And we also found out that um, NyQuil... Aw, did I really just do that? Oh, I guess I should probably need fire. Um, NyQuil would cause it as well. And so, over time, we got better about handling it, and we, you know, they've kind of faded away. But then, in... In, uh, I was 21 years old, and I had another episode. And this one was unlike any I had had before. What? Oh, it's you. Wait, what, what is that, though? Why does he have two health bars? I had another episode. Oh, you're a big man. Okay. So I think of big men. I blow them up. <sighs> that was a great dodge. Wow. Can't take credit for that one. Um, I had, I had an episode. <laughs> oh boy. Gotta run. Gotta run. Gotta run. Die. And die. There. One left. Why is there a fire fruit? Um I remember this one very clearly, because this is the weirdest experience I've ever had in my life, and um, there has been quite a bit of media in, I guess in general, that um, has depicted this kind of feeling, and I always nod knowingly and grow quiet. I, my body was in control. I was not. And all I know is that, well, I, I was fully conscious, but not in control at all. And... I, all I know is that my body was looking for my buck knife, which thankfully I, I could not find. And eventually I forced myself. I reasserted control and held myself in bed until I drifted off to sleep and no one was ever there to help. And I'm really glad that I never found what I was looking for. But it's that horror. All this to say, this has probably been an entire episode, and this is a really weird one. Ugh. <laughs> I'm airing this on the internet. Ugh. Um, all that to say is that unresolved horror is... I think the best, because it, you're always going to be thinking about it. You're never going to know the answer to it. And you're not going to want to think about it, because you know it can't be solved. All right, um, that was an episode. Uh, I, I I obviously don't. I have no idea. I haven't done any outros. Um, I have no idea where I'm at, but I know I'm close to Josha. So let's let's round this out. I don't know if my skele my style horse will come to my call. I don't think he will. Let's finish this off. Let's go over to Josha. Navigate this. I'm... That's probably gonna hurt me. So I'm gonna jump... There. Look at that. Look at that. I can do that. I'm... I can platform. Let's... Drop, and... 
Give me that axe. Postals are really weird. Hi, guys. You're in the middle of gloom. Um, that's not what I want. Sup? Uh, so one thing I actually found out and rediscovered when I was... Oh, that's a new attack. Is, uh, and I need to start practicing this, but... These double attacks, I, I, I really need to start canceling their animations as soon as they, they connect. Because look at this end lag. Uh, actually, I'm going to hold a direction. And then you can witness... Yeah, th there's like a solid second of end lag where I'm not doing anything. Whereas, if I do just do this... I can just cancel it and continue the assault. Or... Wrong buttons... There. Or, um, I can just get out of there. I can dodge. I can reposition. And that's... That's kind of neat. That's... I think optimal. I can't see where I am. I can't go around because the glue... I... Buttons. 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 Gotta learn them. I kind of want to spend more time here. And maybe this is... I, I did say I want to go a wacky direction, and fully exploring the un underground first is definitely a wacky direction. It's basically Link... It's the classic, like, D&D &D thing where you go underground, go into this big dungeon, and then when you come out, you're, like, 20th level in a matter of a couple weeks. That's... That's kind of... Kind of funny. <laughs> I just wonder how big this area is. I also... So, one of the things I found out... I, I did reading on this just because I... It was so weird. I, I wanted to know before... Without risking, like, uh, a commenter maybe or maybe not talking about it. Uh, the reason why the game freezes whenever you use Ascend is because... I, I was right. It is a loading screen. Um, it just... Sometimes it doesn't play. And... I'm never gonna... This is... Can I take a picture of you, actually? No, just your... Oh, there are two. I always notice the first and then pan, and the second one's just right there. They're just traveler swords. Um... What was I saying? But yeah, that, that might be my... My new direction. Is doing that. Where are you? No. Did I? Is he actually right here? No. <laughs> Have I been doing this the whole time? No. He's on the surface. No. <laughs> Have I? I've been wandering around the whole time. You guys have probably been losing your minds. No, why did... Um... Ha! <laughs> Alright, well... Well, snap. Um... I'm not gonna try and bank on Ascend saving me here. I guess we'll just warp out? Man. <laughs> Look out landing Skyview Tower. Robbie! <laughs> you are here! Did I do the same voice for... No, it's, it's Robbie. I thought we were talking to Josha. I don't. I, I'm confused. Okay, that's... Oh, you're Josha. I totally forgot. Okay. Yep. Swordsman Art. Are you okay over there? You just look... You looked like you were somewhere else just now. Oh, I bet you're interested in that strange stone. Huh? We discovered it in the depths. 
It looks both naturally formed and as though it has been carved into. We don't know much about it, but as you can probably tell, there's still so much to learn. So, so once I'm done with my current investigation, I plan on I plan to start digging into it more. You who stand before me, I am one who returns bows to the afterlife where they belong. You offer pose to me. They are spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. Poes are pitiful beings who have lost their way home and wander the depths of this land. Good, evil. That's the fert futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There is no d such distinction in wandering spirits. Yes. This is indeed a bow. I've returned the lost spirit to the afterlife where it belongs. Since I was brought here to the surface, I have been unable to return Poe's to the afterlife. Because of you, I can assist them once again. You should take this. If you offer me more pose, I will give you suitable compensation. It's a store. And also how we get the dark tunic. Which... The presence of the dark tunic excites me. I wonder if it does something different in this game. But we can also get bombs, and that's... That's a pretty good reward. He has a stock of 99, so we don't need to worry about him running out. I think I'll save up for the dark tunic. None of these necessarily excite me, and I, I have a bunch already. My brethren whose spirits reside in a statues far larger than mine are in the depths of this land. If you encounter my brethren, try offering bows to them. If you offer me ten bows, I will tell you the location of one of my brethren. I acknowledge your offering. I will tell you of the location of one of my brethren in the depths of the land. Okay. Go to the location marked on your map. Seek out wandering spirits for my brethren in the depths of this land. Ah. Hey, you! Minato boy, show Josha the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool, too. This is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people uh, people of some sort, whoever they were, which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, 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 big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of the, my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Hmm. Who could say for sure, really? I feel like these contain some kind of strange power. Maybe it's energy or something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you'll find them useful. That fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. 
goggles. Swordsman, thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. We must get to that lab. <laughs> Great job getting the picture of the figure that Josha was looking for. She was pretty happy to see that statue. <sighs> and I was thrilled to show you how to use the camera. Inspired even. The Pura Pad has even more potential functions, you know. <sighs> Listen up, big update here. Your Pura Pad can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Come on, act more impressed. You've never seen this functionality before. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who noticed the shrines after the upheaval. I wake up at 1 a.m., you see. So I saw it very early. Only thing is I can't get the sensor set up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the Pura Pad Research Lab in Hateno Village. <laughs> That's right. It's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the Pura Pad, which Pura and I developed. It should be called the Pura and Robbie Pad. But she filed the copyright without me knowing. Once I'm in that lab, and you join me there, I can continue to improve your Pura Pad, starting with the sensor. You'll find the, la the lab in East, East Nekluda, off the southeast corner of Hyrule. On its far side is Hateno Village. Go a bit further than that, and you'll see a pretty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you. It's a cutting-edge lab. But for now, Josha's investigations are my main priority. So until she gets further along... I'll be staying here for a while. I'd call that a great place to end off. Next time, in Tears of the Kingdom, well, that's up to you guys. I kind of want to go back in the caves. Uh, we, we got quite the introduction to them. And I, um, kind of went in circles there for a little bit, talking about some stuff that I probably shouldn't have talked about. And, because of that, I feel like we know more about the underground and how it works than we know about the above ground. Because there, there are so many things we don't know. The hands, the trees, uh, it, we don't, there, there's a lot. And going underground might be the kooky direction that I want. But let me know. Maybe, uh, I'm, I'm at least, no matter what anyone says, I'm gonna, I'm going to be talking with them again next episode, just to see if there's any more progression I can do, uh, for Josha. But after that, that's kind of where I want to look. Let me know. Give me some ideas. I think Rito Village is probably off the table for now, because every single person is pushing me towards that. Um, I've seen a couple LPs that are also starting with that, so it feels very much like the, the natural progression of the game is pointing us there, or at least suggesting it. But, again, let me know, and next episode will be quite, quite the first step, the real first step. This is where the Let's Play is going to get very weird. See you guys, then.